Hey everyone, it's Melinda with Tailored and Teal, a part-time online reseller on Poshmark, Mercari, eBay, and Facebook Marketplace. I ran a 50% off sale in my eBay store this week, so let's see what's sold. If you have been following along on my reselling journey for the past year and a half, you know that I've done what sold videos every two weeks or twice a month on my channel. And I kind of think I burnt myself out a little bit on what sold videos. They have kind of become monotonous and robotic like, and I just don't think that they're fun to watch anymore. So I will be putting out videos periodically of what has sold. Maybe I had a really good sales weekend or something like that. So right now I'm going to put those bi-weekly videos of everything that's sold in my stores and closets on the back burner for a little while and hopefully I can come up with a better solution or a better idea on how to show you what has sold for me. With that being said, I ran a 50% off sale in my eBay store this past week and I want to go over those results with you because I was pleasantly surprised. My fiance and I are putting our house on the market within the next two weeks probably and we definitely needed to declutter. We're getting rid of things we haven't touched in years. We're throwing things out. I downsized some of my inventory and this was one way for me to do that was to run this 50% off sale. I honestly was expecting to lose some money, but I'm happy to report that I only lost money on one item. So let's go over the sales. Also thrown in here are some full price sales and an auction. And I'll explain that when I get to it. I ran the sale from April 11th to the 18th, which was a Sunday to a Sunday. I made 31 sales from it. First was a Michael Kors wallet or wristlet. It had pebbled leather. It was in this nude pink color. It was in gently used condition. It was marked at $39.99 and so 50% off would be $19.99. I actually had the customer offer me $15, but I explained to her since it was already 50% off, I unfortunately couldn't go any lower. And thankfully she still bought it for $19.99. Next up is a pair of Cupio army green wide leg pants that had a split up the front of them. They were size extra large. They were given to me for free and they sold for $7.49. Next up was a pair of Presswick and More brown linen wide leg cropped pants. These were given to me for free. This was actually an offer that I sent to the customer. I had a notification that someone was watching my item, so I sent them a lower offer of what was already listed, and they sold for $5.50. Next up was a pair of Fly London Salm, S-A-L-M is the style name, double strap sling back wedge sandals. These were in a really fun orange color. They were a size uh, European 41, which equated to a size 10 or 10 and a half. And they sold for $19.99, which was 50% off exactly of my asking price. Then we have a random sale that I actually forgot was listed. <laughs> it was a Frisch Big Boy Reporter Bulletin Summer of 2000 magazine kind of thing that I guess they'd put out in their restaurants. Um, this was for the Ohio, Indiana, and Kentucky region, and it sold for $2.49. This next item was not a 50% off sale because I had just listed it that same night that it sold. It was a bundle of Nintendo Wii Guitar Hero, the actual guitar itself, and also four games. There was Rock Band, Rock Band 2 or 3, um, band Hero and Beatles Rock Band. This was from my own collection. I used to love Rock Band. I used to play it a lot more and then it honestly just sat in the corner for about two to three years. So I thought, why not list it on eBay? It sold, I think within an hour or two of listing, a full price of $49.99. Very happy with that. Next is a new with tags, Style & Co green scoop neck floral blouse. This I actually sent an offer to the customer for $6.55 and they accepted. Then we have an Icelandic design green and pink linen floral embroidered cardigan. It was a size large. I purchased this from Poshmark in a bundle with some other things to resell and it sold for $15. And I believe that that was an offer that I sent to the customer. 
Next is another item that I sent a customer a lower offer than what was already discounted. It was a natural stone beaded necklace with elephant charms and it had uh, matching earrings to go with it. So it was a necklace and earrings and it sold for $10.25. Next was a global shipping program item. It was a handmade tooled stamped stitched leather saddlebag purse. I purchased this from ThreadUp and I paid way too much money for it. This is the only item that I lost money on and I only lost about $3. So after all said and done, I was perfectly okay with that because it was a rather bulky item to keep around. So I was happy to see it go. Also, it went to the UK. So that was really cool too. And it sold for $28.25, which was an offer that I sent to the customer. Next, we have a Zara Rattan wicker structured handbag. It had a beaded handle, but it also had a strap. This came from a Jomar purse and wallet lot. It sold for $17.49, which was my asking price from that promotion. Next was a New With Tags Charter Club three quarter sleeve Pima cotton nautical themed shirt. This was a size 3X and it sold for $10. And I believe that the customer sent me that offer, which I did accept. Next was a pair of Gloria Vanderbilt Black Avery Slim Leg Pull-On Stretch Pants. These were size 12. I got these out of my Thread Up Bulk Rescue Box. They sold for $6.25. Next, we have an Anthropology Odile Ruffle Front Polka Dot Cream Colored Skirt. This sold for $11.25. Then we have a pair of American Eagle Jeans. These were super distressed, stretchy, they had a raw hem, they were the artist crop and they were a size two and they sold for $7.75. This next pair of shoes, I thought there was no hope for them at all. Um, it was a pair of men's Vans old school black and white medium gum suede low top sneakers. These were a men's size eight. The insides of these were so dirty. I did my best to clean them. I actually washed the removable footbeds. I washed on the inside of the shoes just to kind of recoup my money. They came from a thread up rescue box. So I didn't want to just donate them because I know that people like vans to be worn in a little bit. So I still listed them. I think I listed them for $20 and someone sent me an $8 offer and I was very happy to let them go. I made sure to use the cheapest shipping option possible so I could get the most profit out of this item. Very happy to see those go because I wasn't expecting it and they did take up a lot of room. Another item that took up a lot of room was a pair of sneakers. This is a pair of Nike Roche, R-O-S-H-E, black and white lightweight sneakers. These were a size 10. They sold for $12.49, which was the full asking price I had for that sale. Then we have a vintage Sarah Coventry silver tone queen lace ring. This was a size six, came in my Goodwill jewelry unboxing. It sold for $6, which was an offer I sent to the customer. And then this past weekend hit and I had quite a lot of sales most likely because the sale was ending and eBay does tell you that. So you have a limited time to get it at this price. So very thankful for eBay's marketing skills there. We have a Mod Cloth Fervor Stained Glass Kaleidoscope Fit and Flare Dress. This was a size extra small and it sold for $18.25. And that was an offer I sent to the customer. Then there was a Karen Scott Seersucker Blue and White Button Front Blouse. This was a size large. It sold for $7.49, which was my full asking price. Another full asking price, it was a New With Tags Smart Wool Wool Blend Dazzling Wonderland Crew Socks. These were size medium. They sold for $10. This next one is a little ironic because I just did an update on my designer Thread Up Rescue Box and I was saying that two items still had not sold. Well, one of them finally sold. It was the Renee Kaovia Italian gold and silver rhinestone slingback heels. These sold for $30, which was an offer from the customer, which I very quickly accepted. Happy to see those go. So I only have one item left from that lot and it's the Todd's purse, if anyone's interested. 
Next, we have a new with tags, Alfani Fuchsia Satin Trim Round Neck High Low Blouse. This was a size 2X. It sold for $10.99. Then we have the Ten Commandments Gold Tone Bracelet. This came in my Goodwill Jewelry Lot. Um, low cost of goods for me, so I sent out a $6 offer and the customer accepted. Next was a new with tags, Tommy Hilfiger Pink French Terry button front blazer. This had some very small marks on the front, almost like pen marks, which I did notate. And the customer sent me an offer for $20, which I did accept. Next up, we have a universal thread mid-rise midi stretch denim shorts that were cuffed. They were a size zero or size 25, and they sold for $7.49. Next, we have a Loft Outlet Petite Black and White Mandala Print Tie Front Shirt Dress. This was a size small. Customer sent me an offer for $10, which I accepted. Then there was a shaker bottle that we have had laying around in our house for at least a year. It's the brand Huel. It was never used, so I listed it one morning and it sold a few days later with a best offer from the customer of $5. Then there was a new with tags, Ink International Concepts Chambray Linen Blend Paper Bag Shorts. These were a size large. They sold for $11, which was an offer I sent to the customer. And then we had a very exciting sale. My fiance had a ton of comic books that were passed down to him. They had honestly just been sitting in boxes in our house for quite a while. So I asked him if he wanted me to sell them or what he wanted me to do with them. And he said, sure, put them up on eBay. So I did a decent amount of research. I didn't really waste too much time on looking up comps. I knew that an auction was going to be the best option for this. So I just took some pictures. I laid out some of the comics to show an example of what they would get. I wrote in the description that they were in poor to good condition and they were all vintage from I uh, like the 1960s to about the 1990s or even the early 2000s. Very transparent with everything. I did offer free shipping. I started the bid at $249.99. I had one bid within like a day or two of it and then nothing happened. And I was worried because I thought maybe this customer wouldn't pay at the end of the seven days. But then five hours before the auction ended, we had a bidding war. It went from 300 up to $646, which was the final bid. Um, so I got them all packaged up. There were over 800 comics, so I had to put them in three different boxes. They were all very, very heavy. I shipped them through media mail, which disclaimer, if you are shipping anything with advertisements, make sure that you go to the USPS website and just make sure that you're doing everything correctly. Look at the media mail section ship them at your own risk, basically. Thankfully, the customer paid right away. So off they went and it was a really good sale, especially since we're trying to sell our house. That will go to our house fund. So very, very exciting. Also, that's my largest sale ever. <laughs> And then we had two more sales that kind of trickled in from offers that I sent to customers on Sunday. So these actually sold today, which is Monday, but I wanted to include them because they were part of that sale. One of those items was a new with tags picture frame that had the saying, you, me, and the dog on the inside of it, and it sold for $10. And then the last sale was a vintage SL Fashions floral ruffle tiered midi dress, size eight. This sold for $8 and that was an offer that I sent to the customer. So of my 31 sales, there was $1,052.45 in total sales. After removing my cost of goods, my shipping and my eBay fees, I was left with a net profit of $724.54. And if you take out what I earned from the comic books, leaves me a total of $225.31 which for running a 50% off sale, I think is pretty good. $200 profit in within a week, I'll take it, especially since I moved so many items. And I probably will definitely do this again if I ever need to clear out a good chunk of my inventory.
Thank you so much for joining me on this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you liked what you watched. And if you have any ideas for kind of what sold themed videos, definitely leave them down below. I am open to all suggestions. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. I put out videos at least once a week and we'd love to have you. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.